of shit, so. Oh no, wait. Jack. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected as non-law operatives will be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Alrighty then. New training challenges are available for Sly and Bentley in the hazard room. Would you like to play the room? Sure. Fuck it. Oh no. Uh, fuck it, I'll be right back. Give me a second here, alright? As if this week wasn't enough of a shit show already. Thank you very much. My god. Alright then. So as it turns out, I can't VC with... I can't talk with Faye today. I mean, apparently... <coughs> There's a new one better. Yeah. There's something uh, wrong with her friend's father, so it's like she basically. There's a T-post. But. Set up. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. So my mood has now been ruined, in a sense, but that uh, doesn't matter. Like. Oh my god, I just miss her so much. Oh How god. I forget the lovable wall hook. Cuz I did actually. Of course. The launch off of you'll have to pull down on the left analog stick before jumping. Try getting over this wall. Last bit, I kill. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, hmm. you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle bite move. <coughs> Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, but, like, I'll talk about it for now, like, for a second then, okay? So... It's already kind of, this whole thing is already kind of difficult. Okay. But yeah, this whole thing is already kind of hard for both of us because of the distance between us. And today, uh, but this week we have actually been able to voice chat every day um, from Monday until Thursday. So that was good. But like right now with the whole Anon situation, with like everything, it's just too much. Like, the only thing that really, like, kept me together this week was, uh, ta voice chatting with Faye. It's the only thing that kept me together, basically. And today we can't because her friend needs her. And it's like, okay, I understand. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna be a jackass like that. Be like, how dare you? How, how dare you? You know, like, spend time with your friend. Who do you think you are? 
We are dating, which means that I should have priority above her. No, I'm not like that. Of course not. If she needs to be with her friend, then so be it. We'll voice chat another day. But, like, also, like, right now, the problem is, like, tomorrow we may not be able to voice chat. Uh, probably because uh, it's Saturday, so I don't think we will be able to voice chat tomorrow. And then after that, like on Sunday, hopefully we will be able to voice chat again. But it's just like a lot of stuff is just getting in our way right now. And that is really annoying uh, because we have the... Uh... Also, I'm sorry, you can skip this talking thing. But yeah, we have the whole like uh, the distance, um, the fact that we, you know... I don't know, like the distance, the fact that we can't hold each other... Um, or be close. Well, I mean that that's that's because of the distance, son of a bitch. Anyway, <coughs> and then also because of the fact that you know, um, we were supposed to have a video date like two weeks ago, which got uh, delayed because of reasons. Her grandma's house is unavailable, so she can't video date with me. And it's like, you know, like I feel like a lot of shit is just getting in the way. And then the Anon situation, which yes, is also kind of like bad. And then, um. And now, like, th this, we were finally able to voice chat again after, like, two weeks of not not being able to talk to each other. Like, we talked once in two weeks. Uh, we we uh, talk through text every day. Don't get that wrong. We talk through text every day, but not that stuff. So, yeah. So, that, like, makes it hard. So, yeah, I am kind of, like, I do feel, like, a bit of pain because of the fact that um, we aren't able to voice chat. But it's like, you know, her friend needs her. So, it's like, fuck it. But yeah, but also it's like, it's probably because today, because... Oh, hey, thanks. shiny pocket. Let me have it. Well, in order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them this guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. That's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Ah, oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm a master of the picketing of the pocketing. Ooh, shiny. Oh. <laughs> as long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. Or get in their line of sight. With my f smooth talking. Hey, 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 hey. Sir, sir, sir. No, 21. 32. My god, it's the same price as I got before. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Sansa, look, there's no shame in running from a fight. It keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm going to have this guard attack you, and huh? you'll have to run away. To Excuse me, the fuck is wrong? Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. What do you mean, go? No. Where did he go? Oh, where did he go? Bentley, the fuck is wrong with you? Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Spray <coughs> by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. That true. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try to escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Ready, set, go. No, 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 you didn't hear shit. You people didn't hear shit. Fuck you all. <gasps> How about you stop setting these guards up to <coughs> kill me? Or you can always take them out instead. Finally. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you can sneak up behind him. You paying attention, this is complicated. Shut up. 
course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. Can I get the fucking stealth takedown, please? That's not the stealth takedown. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. True. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. <laughs> Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above? That poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Damn, he's out here. Let me shut this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, boating accidents. Shame. Ah, literally. Scum. People litter. Scum. Scum of the earth. Did he say so himself? Scum of the earth. Alright, let's do another test and then call it a day. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I mounted in your binocucom with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. All right, I'm back again. Sorry. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. Shot taken. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Not a good picture. Two good pictures. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? Now, but you showed <coughs> some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Yep. Nice work. Which I could say is a hint at something, but it's not. Cause that isn't until Sly 3 or some shit like that. Should I do another training? Ah, I got some time. I'll finish up the training session and then... Oh, Bentley has something too. Alright, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Beautiful. That's some quality <coughs> pyrotechnics, but how are you?
carrier bombs versus guards. Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. I'll fall <laughs> before me. I'm like a Greek god. Let's Except for Kratos. Got. He's gonna kick your ass. Have one of these, good sir. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep too. My chair's been outfitted with a top of the line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Couple nice. months here. Now, get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. Bomb the fucker. Bomb him. Just bomb everything. Everyone and everything. Bombs away. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? <coughs> With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. Bombs for everyone. A bomb for you and a bomb for you. I was going to do more bombs. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh, yeah. It's my own design. What? The pig pocket pull. Or what? The PPP for short. <laughs> what? Ingenious. Uh. By default, it's linked to the L1 button. Wait a minute. Rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loop. Sounds just like fishing. But, Try it on this guy right here. But, uh, question. How the fuck is this stealthy? Look at this. How is this stealthy? Like, ultimate of stealthness. Ben is actually pretty good for, like, looting guards. Okay. He served his purpose. Because you'll see when you're ready, when you have the, uh... With your big pocketing technology. But how is it against <laughs> someone in motion? Allow Not perfectly fine. I just hold down the L1 button. Attach and pull. Couldn't be easier. I don't actually need to pull. I think he's gonna walk himself. Yeah, he's gonna walk it himself. What a legend. Done. Her. Do I keep all this money, or does that get taken away from me? Chair of yours is a wonder. You pack so much technology into such a small space. <laughs> job complete. The last job. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Thank you, me. But I think I will call it a day here. Because I want to end it right now. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Sorry for this second video being a little bit of interruption city. Because of the fact that, well, I mean, I wasn't expecting that message. And it, you know, kind of makes me more silent. So, I'm going to go and uh, do my usual shit. What I do in between this and the next recording session. Like normally around this time. And hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more energy to finish up the recording session of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. But that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, please hit like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on notifications and as always, stay tuned for more. Bye.